Godzilla has grown angry over the years, and he decided the oceans are his. Coastal cities around the world have become ghost towns. This has led to a huge shortage of fish. As a fisherman from Florida, I was forced to move, but I'm not giving up that easy. Can we become the largest fish farmer in America? Let's find out. Well, hello and welcome back in everybody. This is episode seven on our journey to becoming the largest fish farmer in America. And we got a long ways to go because we're not even doing anything with fish quite yet. I mean, I guess the corn kind of counts as it, but we're not using that for that. We're using the corn to kind of make some money. That's what we're doing here. I got the herd running the harvester. I'm running this and also picking up the corn stalk off the ground. After the herd and I get done with this field here, we're going to head into town. I'm going to introduce him to my dad and everybody else at the butcher. And that's actually where he's going to be working at and whenever I don't have any work for him to do here. So he gets to help out all the time because I'm paying him all the time. I don't see much work coming up in these winter months for him to do here on the farm, but there's plenty of work for him to do at the butcher. And my father asked me to also deliver a load of animals to the butcher. So me and the herd will do that, introduce the herd to everybody else. So this is the second trailer full of corn. Let's see how many trailer fulls we get off this field because I'm really interested in that. This is the last of the corn off the harvest there. The herd is currently taking his harvester over there and getting it washed up and then put away now. All together, we end up getting 82,182 liters, I believe, off of this field. I'm really hoping next time around we can actually get that up over 100,000 because there's going to be some good field care we're going to do before next planting time. The herd and I are on our way into town right now to head over to the butcher and head over to the shop because there is a trailer over there I want to buy that I'm actually going to need. I'll probably just need to lease it, but let's just go ahead and buy it because we're going to use it quite a bit. Now, the thing we're going to use it for is getting some new equipment, also selling off some of our equipment. After seeing how hard it was to get an employee to drive some of this John Deere equipment, I realized I need to get rid of that stuff. And I saw a few on sale that I wanna buy, plus get rid of a few of my John Deere tractors. First stop we're gonna make is over here at the dealership and we're gonna go ahead and introduce the herd to everybody here. Get him on the accounts, so that way he can come down here and purchase stuff. We've already paid off all the fees and fines and everything we had here at this place. Let's go ahead and buy a trailer now. For almost $11,000 is what I'm gonna end up getting. A 20 foot gooseneck has a winch on it. It's gonna work out great just in case anything breaks down. I believe I'm gonna make my money back in just a few hours possibly because I'm gonna bring my tractors over here to sell, but I'm also gonna buy a few too. Got the herd introduced to everybody in the butcher shop and we're gonna go ahead and head over to the animal dealer together to get our monthly supply of animals that we keep getting from here to keep some money coming in. Now we do have an opportunity to sell off our products automatically and hire somebody to come out and pick it up. But I purchased that trailer and it's gonna cost us a little bit of money to automatically sell this stuff off because we gotta pay for those carriers. Don't know if I'm gonna do that quite yet, We'll see exactly how long that takes, but we do have some stuff to already sell off and we will get to that in a second. First, let's go ahead and get 20 of each animal type and get it over to the butcher. Looks like we're all done over here at the butcher getting those animals delivered. Let's go ahead and head back to the farm, load up a couple of our tractors and bring them down to the shop where we're gonna meet somebody to sell them to. Here's the two tractors we're gonna sell off. Got the 7810 and the F8R and man, I'm just wondering, can I get them both on here? I really hope I can. I parked them side beside it and it looked like it didn't really work out too well, but maybe I can get something over here to lift the front of the tractor up. That way I can close the dovetail here. And looks like we got this pig escaping again. Is it the same one? Yeah, female, I believe it is the same one. I don't know, a little escape artist she is. Let's go ahead and try to get these loaded up on here, both of them. If not, I may have to make multiple trips. Here's the thing, if I can get that closed, it's gonna work. And now I just gotta find something to try to lift up the front end of this. Probably shouldn't, but let's give it a try. Hopefully I don't break anything before I sell this. It turns out that little tiny skid steer over there was not strong enough to lift that up. And I got another idea actually. It looks like most of it's already on the trailer. Maybe if I get some jacks, I do have a few floor jacks. Maybe if I get those up underneath here, I can lift it up high enough to get that dovetail closed. That's my idea. I really just don't want to make two trips. <laughs> Let me give that a try. It is not perfect, but it works. Well, you know what? I guess it would be kind of perfect because that is a very tight fit. Let's go ahead and get this down to the shop. Got a buyer down there waiting to pick these up. Now that I'm thinking about it, I sure hope they have something to unload this with because I got to lift that front end back up and I left my floor jacks back there in the barn. It was definitely a little sketchy getting this stuff over here, but let's go ahead and sell it off, see how much money we make. I'm not going to worry about repairing, repainting. It is washed up. That's good enough, right? Our 8R right there sold for $277,547. 
car. 7810 right there, sold for $65,735. Now putting our bank balance up to $352,000. I got a few used tractors I would like to buy. And I'm gonna head out to this guy's farm and look at one of them. And then there's somebody else across the river that has another tractor for sale. Since we was already in town and near the bridge to cross the river, I went ahead and called the farmer over there. Asked him if I go ahead and pick it up a little early or look at it. I obviously had to look at it first. And this is what we end up getting this Fiat here. And there's another tractor out there we're going to buy too that's used. This Fiat here only costs $70,551. Let's get this dropped up at the farm. Go pick up our other tractor and then we'll take a nice look over them all. Make sure they're all working properly and good. Here's our other tractor here. We got the JCB Fast Track 8330 and it's got some good horsepower to it. I mean, we sold off our largest horsepower tractor. We needed something with a little more horsepower. Let's go ahead and back it off the trailer and take a quick look at this stuff there's one issue the place where all my tools are it's kind of full with some other stuff including a john deere tractor that we may need to get moved out of there and what i'm talking about is this barn over here looking in here right now i need to pull both those in here that way i can do some work on this throughout the night just kind of give them a good look over i did look over them before i bought them that jcb did end up costing 147,220 dollars and both those items had come out of the used markets on the shop but we'll go ahead and get all this stuff moved out of the way get both those tractors inside here take a good look at them see if there's any issues we need to really worry about after looking over the two tractors there the fiat does need a good oil change to it they both probably do but checking it out the oil was pretty sludgy he said he doesn't drive it very often either so it's just been kind of sitting around it's got the higher hours on it versus the fast track but it's gonna do the job i think let's go ahead and get this skid steer put back away and then get ready for winter i'm back over here at the butcher checking out what all we have to sell off we need to make sure we sell this stuff off every month or it's going to end up expiring so that's no fun and it looks like i got multiple trips to make here because i'm doing this myself we got an amazon warehouse here patterson's grain export here for the lamb sausage every thousand liters is a full pallet that's what i'm going off of right now looking down here at the ground beef that's thirty thousand dollars worth but we got to take it to a separate place mcgregor strip mall uh all these trips only one trailer it's gonna take me a while. The herd and I are gonna continue to load up all these pallets here. These are the ones going over to the Amazon warehouse and we will get that delivered. And then of course, come back for the stuff going to the other place. Maybe, just maybe hiring a driver might be a better idea, but let's see how much work and hassle it puts on us. How much time we waste doing this. I'm gonna continue working away at this and I did say I will use auto load and I will end up using auto load. Every now and then I just like to do this myself. It's pretty fun. I mean, it's part of the game, right? So, <laughs> and this is not much. So I'm gonna go ahead and load it up, but I will see y'all next episode. That's it for this one. I really wanna thank y'all so much for stopping in and watching. If y'all haven't already, please make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. If y'all got any tips, tricks, or suggestions, feel free to leave them down in the comments section because they're always welcome. Very much appreciate it and very much need it. And until next time, Y'all take care.